Thank you for joining me and welcome fellow fans of Clash of Clans. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I know I am because we are getting the series going again. Many of you have asked about this account. This was originally the Fix That Rush series that became Gem Fix Farm Max That Rush and then became the world's most expensive forgotten Town Hall 14 that I wasn't really playing. So we're back at it again. We are going to be working on getting this account maxed out. And of course, we will be spending gems, spending money, buying packages, gold passes, and the like. We're going to make sure that we have code Galadon active, which could be something you could do if you wanted to be a supporter of the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. Thank you guys so much that are using code Galadon. And look, the use code Galadon shout out is done for the whole video. Okay, so yes, we did buy this scenery, which by the way, I love the scenery simply because of the color change of the grass. It looks so cool when you come across a village that has that scenery active. Okay, so yes, we're going to go ahead and go in and buy all of the other packages. So remember, this account is... Originally, it was Fix the Rush that we had rushed this account to. I don't remember what town hall that was. Maybe 12? I honestly don't know. We'd have to look back at all of the episodes. And then we started to gem it slightly, partially, not all the way. Not just always the packages. I did buy all of the packages here. I won't always buy every single package, but occasionally I am going to need to purchase gems as well. Okay, so we went ahead, grabbed everything as far as packages, and then we realized, yeah, okay, I've got 401 gems left. I'm just, we're going to bite the bullet. We're going to go ahead and pull the trigger on $100 worth of gems because we will need them. We're going to be, you know, gemming stuff and, oh, yeah, that's that's a, a sign of how neglected this account was. I didn't even get a single challenge done in the last clan games and RIP all of the cool rewards that I could have gotten there. Okay, progress base time. As you can see, we've got a relatively up-to-date progress base as far as Town Hall 14 is concerned. And we moved the pet house over since we've got a bunch of pet upgrades to do as well. And the list goes on and on and on. And Oh, man. All right, so... This is going to be a serious undertaking. And then walls. We have so many different level walls and only five level 15s. When we look at a fully maxed out account like Galadon, you need 200 level 15 walls. So 195 to go. Went ahead and slightly adjusted everything here until we got the walls in the right spot. Now we have all of the walls that need to... No, wait. We have all of the walls that go... Okay. The walls that are in the middle of the base need to be upgraded. And the walls that are on the top left don't but you all know that by the time i get caught up all walls will go to level 15 there's no doubt in my mind uh, in the meantime we need to spend some gold some elixir some dark elixir you can see that i have all six builders free and not nearly the resources to occupy said builders in fact not even uh, half of them are going to be able to get to work because everything is so crazy expensive at Town Hall 14. It was a total shock to the system to see that compared to, say, Town Hall 12 farming, right? Okay, Gold Pass picked it up. Golem King going in to effect. Well, okay, maybe not full effect. Now, on Galadon, I would, of course, hop on and just gem this thing to completion and unlock everything. But, you know, this is gem farm fix, max that rush, not just be stupid with your gems. So let's maybe see if we can actually earn that organically. Back at home, the lab needs an upgrade. And oh gee, if it isn't 19 million elixir for an electro dragon, I, 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 I have no words. Okay, I'm going to take a moment right here to say a special shout out to all those free to play players at Town Hall 14 that are farming and maxing out their Town Hall 14 accounts. I, I don't know if I could do this. I mean, I know that No Cash Clash is supposedly supposed to get there someday, but holy man, I, I, oh, wow. Okay, and then we can only afford one quick upgrade of Lasse. That is the Finnish pronunciation of the uh, Lassie uh, pet right there, but let's all call it Lasse and pretend that we're in Helsinki together. Okay, uh, back over here, we're going to do one level 20 Archer Tower, and that is it. Okay, no, again, like I said, no discounts in effect because it's early in the season and we didn't want to spend the 3,000 gems it costs to max out the gold pass. And uh, that's it. We need to start raiding, okay? We need to start raiding. And, of course, my first thought was, let's go boost those sneaky gobbies, right? Get them... Oh, wait, what? Okay. 
All right, so I had boosted super minions because I was donating them to my other accounts so that they could complete the challenge. So here I am with this army of, well, royal ghosts left over from Halloween. So, well, I guess we might as well. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do one attack with this and then we'll get down to farming and, and, and boosting, right? Super troops, sneaky goblins, super wall breakers. We will buy potions as need be. I probably would even spend gems on the super potions. And then of course, to speed things along a little bit, we will go ahead and make sure that we buy all of these hammers once a week. And it looks like I can afford to do that for, well, you know, with CWL coming up right now, uh, four weeks in a row, I'll be able to buy all four hammers and use those to speed things along a little bit. Now we still have an incredible number of defensive upgrades to get going. And now here's the thing, we are in Champion League. Is this the right league to be in as a farming Town Hall 14 player that's relatively upgraded, right? My heroes are all maxed out, most of my troops are max level. I don't know, I should be the one being able to give this advice and I really have no idea. I did ask the Facebook live stream and they did seem to think that Champion League was a good spot. This was the base I found after about six or eight clicks of the next button, so it doesn't feel too bad. I feel like anything that's around or above a million of each is going to be the bases that we want to select. Although I would also think, since No Cash Clash and Gold Pass Clash are at Town Hall 12 and they can see one to 1.2 million of each per raid, shouldn't I be able to find more? 1.3, 4, 5 million each? I'm, I'm not sure. So I am looking for your input in the comments. Town Hall 14 farmers, please let me know two things. Number one, what league you think will be the most profitable for this account? And number two, what army do you think I should be using? Because you know that unless otherwise directed and guided and forced, I will simply use sneaky goblins and super wall breakers and devastate bases for their loot. But you know, should we be doing that? I don't know. Again, turning to you guys, you guys have always helped guide the channel, guide the episodes, and you tell me what you want to see. So I'm eagerly awaiting input on this one before we go any further. Although, okay, that's probably not true. By the time this video gets out and I read the comments, I probably will have made one more episode that was using sneaky goblins and super wall breakers. So then the response to the comments from this episode will appear in two episodes if you follow me. And that's where we will take your advice, move up or down in trophies and change the army around to what you, the Galafam decides is the most beneficial setup to a Town Hall 14 farmer. Royal Ghosts obviously will be missed. They were a lot of fun, but yes, we're gonna have to come up with something else. Then the season pass, we'll work our way through things, trying to earn the points organically. I'll probably get frustrated with this, but at the same time, I really would rather not buy a lot of gems. I don't mind buying packages, but outright gems, that should be a rarity with this account. Okay, let's step over to the progress report of what used to be Fix That Rush, is now Gem Farm Fix Max That Rush, where today, believe it or not, we did not spend a single gem. The previous total spent in money though was over $6,800, and today we dropped a whopping, yes, $136.93 because we bought those gems. That is going to take the new total all the way over the threshold of $7,000, 702358. Yes, it kind of hurts, but you know what? We do it for the fam. We do it for the channel. Thank you, Galafam, so much for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You know that I love thinking about it and appreciate every single one of you every single day. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to the people on the planet. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. I'm so monotone, right? Gally Don, it's about time you brought this series back. More gyms, more gyms. I like gyms.